Hey, I'm back. Fonte 83. And before we get started, hit subscribe. Of course, you got to subscribe to the channel. Like the video. And then share it. And leave a comment. If you don't like the video, that's cool. Leave a comment anyway. Leave a bad comment. I don't care. Just leave a comment. So, today, hungry, as always. Because everybody gets hungry. Wanted to talk about the difference between. Well, no, I don't really want to talk about the difference. I just want to get into sampling this Subway vegetable sandwich. So, got some Subway. Foot long. See if it fit in the whole string. Subway foot long vegetable sandwich. Mm. Sounds good, don't it? Yeah. Well, here it is. Now to give it a try. Because if you know me, I'm always on the hunt for vegetarian vegan friendly food. Now I'm not a total vegan because I eat honey, I eat cheese, and not necessarily vegan cheese, but honey comes from bees, and vegans don't eat stuff that comes from animals, only plants. So now one thing I did notice, the vegetable patty is not an option at every subway. It's sad to say, I noticed it's only in areas that's predominantly Caucasian people, which is crazy because African Americans eat vegetarian food and vegan food. But for some reason, in those predominant areas in the hoods, can't get it. So, now, like, my subway sandwiches I always get I don't get lettuce I get spinach I get onions tomatoes bell peppers salt and pepper and a little bit of sweet onion oil sauce or oil whatever it is but that's what I get so that's what's on here oh and cheese I forgot about the cheese they do offer you cheese I usually get pepper jack or American, or I'll switch it up and say Pepper Jack and American, but that's what I got. And it's on the uh, the cheesy bread. I can't remember the name of the bread with the cheese in it, but it's on that bread. So here we go. Mmm. Like most vegetable options now, now available, has a meaty taste to it. It's not soft and gooey. And it's actually chewy and got like a a meat consistency to it. I have to admit, this ain't my first one. I've had this multiple times. Like I said, the only problem is trying to find it. Different neighborhood subways just don't have it. I guess they figure it's not a big market for it. So it's just not at every subway. But here in Minnesota, I've been finding it in the predominantly Caucasian neighborhood white neighborhoods which like I can say is crazy so I don't know I've done uh, research oh man the sweet onion oil is dripping and 
Spinach is more healthier than lettuce. So that's why. One, they offer it, and two, I choose it. Mm. This is good. Mm. I wonder what McDonald's is going to do. Are they going to come out with an impossible Big Mac? Because everybody's got some type of vegetarian alternative that I know of except McDonald's. Which, me personally, even if they did, I wouldn't. It'd be kind of hard for me to taste test that one because McDonald's, they don't really have a good standing record with their food. Which really, most fast food restaurants, as far as being healthy, are kind of like on the downside. But if you want to go fast food and you don't eat meat, I'm showing you options. And today we learned that the Subway vegetable patty is good. And not don't taste good, but it's good for you. Mm -hmm. One thing I can say about the Subway sandwich compared to other people's sandwiches. And burgers. The Subway sandwich is more filling. You're definitely not going to get fooled off of White Castle and Positive Slider. Not one. The Impossible Whopper is good too, but it just it just don't fill you up. I'm going to say the other half for later. Now that was just half. Six inches. Definitely will be full off the whole foot long. Which, on a more technical note, I don't think it's actually a foot long. I think it's shy a few inches on that. But, hey, that's what they say. They say it's a foot long. I guess it's a foot long. So. My final verdict on that. Two thumbs up. You guessed it. So, in conclusion, if you're looking for something fast food related that you can sink your teeth into if you're a vegetarian or a vegan, well, maybe if you're a vegan, you got to tweak it a little bit. But, most definitely vegetarian, not meat eater, or if you are a meat eater and you want to sink your teeth into something that's not meat, you just want to break because you've been reading all this material that's out there now, watching these videos or seeing something on the news that everybody's talking about now. And you like, oh, I just want to be meat free for a day or whatever. Definitely, you so well try. They vegetable burgers. Now again, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share with a friend. And leave me a comment, whether it's bad or good.
Whether you like the video or you don't, let me know. If you don't like it, maybe I might keep going. Maybe I might just shut up. Peace.